celebrating Dia de los Muertos is getting beautifully interactive over at the shops at La Cantera this weekend. Take it from the beautiful Catrinas you're seeing on your screen. Today we're going to learn all about them and how you can see them in person. I want to welcome Araminta Romero. She is the cultural ambassador and expert on Mexican history. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you so much for having us. We are very glad to be here. So tell me about what's going on on Sunday at the shops at La Cantera over there by Neiman Marcus. People will get to see these incredibly beautiful Catrinas. Well, never before seen. We are going to have a live Catrina exhibit. We are going to have six of our most iconic Catrinas uh, displaying their beautiful attires. Each attire is going to represent an icon or a symbol of the Day of the Dead. It's not just your regular uh, Catrina, the Dead Lady attire, mm, no. Sure. Each Catrina is going to have um, a meaning, something that is telling you about either the ofrenda, the traditions of Mexico, or the monarch, the monarch or monarch butterflies that are bringing the souls of the dead on November 2nd. So it's going to be a very cultural, artistic, fashionable experience. I think everybody's going to enjoy it a lot. It's incredible. And right now you're working on the monarca. You say this represents taking the souls to the afterlife? No, they're bringing them. Bringing them. So what's happening is that in Mexico, in November 2nd, the monarch butterflies come. Mm -hmm. They migrate yes. to Mexico. And in November 2nd is the day of the dead. Okay. So, so it's very fitting. We are feeling that, uh, or we believe in our traditions, that the, uh, the souls of our departed are coming in the wings of the monarch butterflies. Oh that is why it's so meaningful, so important uh, for us to always represent monarch butterflies in our friends. Well, I just learned a lot, and I'm Mexican, <laughs> and I thought I knew it all. I don't know it all, guys. This is wonderful. What are you doing to her makeup to complete the look? Well, we are just going to finish with all the monarch wings that are around the eyes. That's just so they pop up. Uh, it, when we have Katrina makeup, uh, Katrina tires, the eyes can be in two, two ways. It can be the sugar skull, that is what you see in the festival, sure. with a lot of, 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 of drawings in the, in the face, or you can do a more fashionable edit, where you can just go with it. It's whatever you feel that is representing your tradition, your culture, your feeling, and, and your heritage. Yes. You just put it in your makeup. It's incredible. You're so talented. You know all your history, <laughs> you're a cultural ambassador, but she's also a wonderful makeup artist. And then behind you, what Katrina is that? This Katrina is Sochi Quetzal. Sochi Quetzal, it's the name of the Aztec goddess of beauty, love, and flowers. And we created this Katrina to represent the flowers in the ofrenda, that they are supposed to be very colorful and very beautiful and very bright to attract and guide the souls of our departed to us. I absolutely love your take. Like you said, yes, you traditionally do the skeleton face, but this is so beautiful, adding the bling, the color, the glitz. I absolutely want to be a Katrina now. <laughs> and to my right, I, wow, this reminds me of like the Mexican Revolution. Well, absolutely, that is what she is. She's the Katrina Mexicana. She is representing Mexico. We created that in September 16 because it's the Mexican Independence Day uh -huh. and it's having all the aspects uh, that are so significant of our country. I, you know, you, you have me speechless even down to her dress, it's, draw, it's painted. Let me just tell you that this lady over there is Frida Kahlo. Yes. <laughs> Who painted that? Don't tell me you did. No, I, I did not. It was a Mexican artist in Oaxaca. Oh, See, he wow. hand painted it. I met him when I went there for Day of the Dead. Like, shockingly, oh. I went for Day of the Dead in, in Oaxaca. And he's so talented, and we started this conversation about having an exchange. Now we have alebrijes, we have a, a, a skirts, we have art, and we are trying to contribute to our country, like giving back, and they are they are giving us this in what return. What a neat collaboration. It's, I'm so it's glad. You, what a coincidence that you met him out there. Why is it so important to, for you to host an event like this, Araminta, at Shops at La Cantera, which is also a great place, lots of popular locations that people walk through? First of all, we are so grateful to the Shops at La Cantera for not only giving us the opportunity to, to reach out to a wider audience, to bring this message of the importance of, of having um, this moment to remember our departed. But it's not only the perfect venue, it's the place that is acknowledging that our heritage, our culture, the art, everything that is behind this tradition is important. And not every venue is going to do that. I, I know it's something that is, it's chic and, and people are trying to have these, these events, every, everyone is having events, but La Cantera the Shops of La Cantera worries about having something that is actually significant. 
so they reach out to us we are very very thankful because what we are bringing is just not uh, an exhibition of, of ladies. We are trying to send a message. A we are trying to, to show our traditions in a very beautiful way, in a way that people love to see, experience, admire, but at the same time, they are learning. And we are having this event that is not only our beautiful Katrinas that they are worth coming to see it, but we have art by local artists that are representing the Day of the Dead. So it's beautiful. We're going to have like music by the San Antonio okay. premier vocalist. It's, it's going to be a great event. Thank you so much, Araminta, and your beautiful models for being here with us. GDSA will be right back.